bets today. The general store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Jeremy Sisto. Hello. Hey. Good morning. Hey, it's Bill and Jessica Power 1017 in Ocean City, Maryland. How are you? Good. How are you guys doing? Good, man. Welcome to the show. We appreciate you checking in this morning. Uh, it's my man from Law & Order. <laughs> yep. Yes. Love Law & Order. How's everything going? I hear they're... Uh... I hear Law and Order coming back. You heard that? Yeah, I did hear that. I did hear that. How uh, yeah. h- how do you feel about that? To tell, give us like you know, kind of like your background of working with the show and Dick Wolf and just you know the whole uh, the whole project, and then we'll get into FBI. Yeah, you know, I I'm in the Dick Wolf universe, and <laughs> I support all things Dick Wolf. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, so Law and Order was a great. We had a great run, me and Anthony Anderson for three years, and. And really enjoyed that. We, you know, we brought a, a kind of a new energy to it. And, uh, and you know, with Alana, who's also on FBI, and Linus Roach, we had a great time. And, and, uh, and it's a staple. I mean, it was around for 20 years. And it worked in today's landscape as well as it does back then. So I, uh, I see why they bring it back. And I'm really curious to see if Sam Waterston is going to come back. And, yeah. Uh, see who they get for the detectives and all that. Stuff. Well, we, we, uh, and I know he was in SVU, but we recently interviewed BD Wong. Did you know him? Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's great. Yeah. Well, we, we recently interviewed him. So I, I don't know. Uh, I wonder if he's going to have anything to do with it. I never understood why yeah. they got rid of all the other law and orders, but just kept SVU. We love SVU. Don't get me wrong, but. How come they got rid of criminal intent? How come they got rid of the original Law and Order? Like, why only stick to one? Right. Well, I mean, I don't think it was Dick's choice. It was twenty years, and yeah, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's NBC, right? NBC, is that NBC. Okay. Yeah, NBC. NBC. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Who knows? Okay. You know, these decisions are above my pay grade. But, uh, <laughs> right. But I, I know, I, I, I know Dick's world is expansive. He likes. It likes it to be expansive, and he likes them to be intermingled. There was rumor of FBI doing a crossover with uh, SVU. Uh, that's a, that's a lot of letters, but uh, uh, that would have been fun. Uh, yeah, that has not happened yet. Uh, well, you never know. You know, uh, we're a big fan of the Chicago uh, shows, you know, too, which is, uh, you know, also Dick Wolf Project, Chicago Fire, PD, Med, all that. Yeah. I, I mean, they just do an incredible job. Uh, and you did mention FBI. Mm-hmm. Uh, it airs on CBS every Tuesday. Uh, give us a rundown on the show. Yeah, man. It's, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, it follows the inner workings of the New York office, the FBI, and um, you know, it's, it's kind of a different take on these crime shows a little bit. You get to see it's not just the detective out there fighting, you know, tracking down stuff. It's, uh, you know, it's a whole mechanism. The FBI's got amazing reach. We have this room that we all pile into, all the analysts and, and the agents and representatives from 50 different organizations. And we're all working together to uh, use every bit of technology, every bit of uh, sort of um, connectivity to to, you know, get the job done. And, and so you really get to see the human beings inside this infrastructure. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's high-paced, it's action-packed, and, and it's got good characters. They've really, really sort of made my character really complex with, you know, recovering alcoholic, kids got cancer, broken marriage. Yeah, but in the in the halls of the FBI, he is, he's on top of it. He's on top of it. Yeah, you're, you're the, the main focus guy in the room. But. You're the man. You're the man on that show, huh? Well, no, I mean, arguably, you could say that you know Zico and, and John and Missy and, and, and Catherine are, <laughs> are more of the uh, the kind of the ones. They're doing the ones chasing down people, taking down people, pulling their guns. I'm the man in a different way. I keep it all together uh, in a, a logistical sense. I uh, I, uh, I figure out what the best way is to uh, go about uh, getting the results we want. Okay. From inside the office, you know, where it's nice and warm in the, the winter and cold and the cool in the summer. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Now, so Dick Wolf is behind this one as well. Is that right? Because I thought he was only like NBC. It's kind of odd seeing that he's involved with CBS. Yeah, no, he's got the, you know, he's got the Law and Order, he's got the Chicago's, and he's, he's got, now he's got this new uh, this new franchise with two spinoffs, FBI, and this is the first thing he did with CBS, yeah. Okay. You know, they've been talking about doing something together for years, and, and, um, and yeah, so he's bringing the networks together. 
Nice, man. Very good. Very good. Now, you were also in uh, some other, um, you know, uh, projects as well. Uh, you were in Six Feet Under, had a five-year run, got three Golden Globes. I mean, congratulations. Got Primetime Emmy Awards, uh, Emmy nominations. Uh, congratulations on all the success. You, you have Ice, uh, Wicked City, The Return, Kidnapped. I mean, you do have a, a long list of projects. I mean, you've definitely, you know, done your thing. So, again, congratulations on all your success, and we're definitely looking forward to checking out this new FBI show. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's, uh, we're we're on a we're on a good run. We're on our fourth season. We got two spinoffs, and and it really is a. Uh, but it's one of those shows that if you haven't checked it out, tune in, and you won't be. You know, they make sure that uh, those have not seen all episodes. It's fine. You know, they're, they're, each episode is its own movie, and uh, it's exciting and fun, and uh, it, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, definitely, man. Well, look, uh, Jeremy Sisto, FBI on CBS. If people want to follow you, uh, you on social media, how can they do that? Uh, yeah, Instagram is uh, Sisto, 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 and uh, Twitter is uh, Jeremy Sisto. Okay, very good, my man. We appreciate you checking in. You have a great day, and we'll be watching. Thank you. you too. Thanks for having me. There he goes, Jeremy Sisto from FBI.